I will just open the command prompt the elevated mode and type client configuration and enable the TCP IP and create a new alias which will be used with the same name as the database server I will leave the port as default as this is my default port now I will open the SharePoint management shell and then just type get SharePoint databases and this will list all the databases for SharePoint with their GUID I will copy all the GUIDs and put them in a file and I will start to map each one so I will get it in a, a variable get SharePoint database take the first GUID let's make sure that our variable has that database yes and then I just change calling a method change database in instance and put the instance name which is the default in instance TFS and then run a method to update or save the changes my variable db dot update oh, I forgot the parentheses so let's run again with parentheses this time so I will do this mapping for all the GUID this is the last one Then I will start all the SharePoint service that I stopped earlier. And then shut down the database tier the old one to make sure that there is nothing uh, you know loading from the cache and we just want to make sure that this database now is off and try to open the central administration now to see if everything is working now it's working and if I go to manage service on server I can see all the service are started now